Hi guys, it's me, Jake. Hey guys, XX Mario Sunshine 64 XX here. And it's Salem. This is Vaseth, general manager of MVG, and actually one of the three head TOs at Evo 2019. We're going to do a quick breakdown video because this week starts Evo 2019. So we're going to have our three professional players here break down what stages you should strike, what stages you should ban, and how to get an advantage in this two out of three metagame. Evo 2019 starter stages are Battlefield, Final Destination, Pokemon Stadium 2, Smashville, and Town and City. No platforms, a mono platform, a dual platform, a triplat, and a unique layout stage. Your counterpick stages are Kalos Pokemon League, Lilac Cruise, Yoshi's Island Brawl, and Yoshi's Story. Again, a mono plat, a dual plat, a tri plat, and a unique platform stage. In a two out of three format, you can get the biggest edge if you know how to properly stage strike and ban. So listen closely. So let's start with Battlefield. Characters that have up air chains. Pretty much up air chain characters. is That's a, a common theme is up air chain characters are really good on Battlefield because they can get a lot of the combos. It's similar to Yoshi's story. Having the platforms there means you're always going to get constant up air chains. Also, if they wanted to kill with like an up smash from the ground, it's a little worse. Other than that, it's like, oh, oh yeah, you could also camp the platforms with like Snake or you could camp under the platform for projectile. Those are all of the, some of the main unique benefits of Battlefield and the characters that want to go there. And for characters like Snake, they can use Battlefield to land, put like C4 on the platform, juggle grenades around better and easily, like set up all kinds of traps. And not to mention, it also makes his ledge trapping a lot better as well because there's a platform right there. So if they do get around you, they still have to also land on the platform or they're forced to center, so it makes it obvious where they have to go. Let's talk about Final Destination. Who's the strongest on FD? Who do you absolutely want to strike FD against? I think FD is good if you're trying to nerf the characters who like triplets. <laughs> I think projectiles are pretty good on FD as well. Like duck on FD is like way so more, no way more annoying. <laughs> <laughs> like uh, people, the characters that like generally like to stay on the ground and throw projectiles, so like duck hunt, link. Like who else throws projectiles like while being on the ground? Just characters can't like hide that. under a platform though. Yeah, but if you lose a lead to them on a flat surface, oh yeah, it becomes yeah. hell. You keep getting hit, and then you get juggled, and then you can't land. Yeah, and, and now you can't. Get, now you can't go come back. Like, All right. So for the single platform stage, Smashville in the neutral list. Who likes Smashville? Who wants to keep it? Who wants to get rid of it? I personally feel like Smashville is probably probably the most neutral stage in the game because I've never felt like <laughs> a character like significantly benefits off one other when fighting on this stage. I, I honestly feel like Smashville is way more neutral than Stadium, but everyone just goes to Stadium anyway. Oh, yeah. Like, Smashville, it's, it depends on the characters, of course, but it, like... It'd be way different if the platform still moved. Oh. But, it, but it just sits there, so like... It, so it, boring. Let's yeah, not talk it, about it, that. It, <laughs> that it, makes it, me it, sad. Every time I think about that, no platform. Yeah, Japan, I, Japan I agree. Moved. Japan I agree. Japan hasn't moved. I agree. I love that. Let's, let's get on that ahead of... Let's get on that Japan meta, dude. But anyway, yeah, characters like Snake, for example, he too can use that stage, but like... A lot of his general game plan changes because the platform's a little too high, so he can't easily jump onto that platform. That also, of course, applies to other characters who don't jump high enough to just land on a platform from just a single full hop. Like, it also it makes things a little awkward because the platform center stage. So it's like, oh yeah, your neutral is all right here, but this is in the way all the time. <laughs> Especially characters that love full hopping, like space animals, like they can use that stage too. But their general strategy of jumping around, it's it's not as effective. So for everyone's favorite stage, the dual plat on the neutrals is Pokemon Stadium Two. So let's talk about not only who likes the stage, but why people shouldn't just go to this stage just because. Just because. This one's very simple. The reason why you shouldn't always start here is because projectiles benefit way more off the stage. And that's almost the entire reason that you will mostly be banned in this stage. Because if you're fighting a zoner, you don't want to give them this for free because they'll want that anyway. And it's just like, you know, don't make their life easier. Don't make your life harder for no reason. It's only a semi-awkward neutralize because people often fight in those exact spots where those platforms are at. Those literal exact spots. That's where people actually fight often. It matters a lot because like random platform extension and usually you get dragged towards the side a little bit. But the stage is big, so it's like 
it's not gonna hurt too much. Because it's the widest stage in the game, not only is that good for platforms, but it also means you have more opportunities to kill upwards. Combine it with a lower ceiling, you're probably gonna get the most sky kills with up smashes on this stage. So it buffs projectiles and it buffs characters who rely on up smash to kill. Now we go into the more unique neutral. Now this slot is usually filled by something like Lilat Cruise, but at Evo, it's Town and City. So let's talk about Town and City, its unique platform layout, and who benefits from that stage. Town City is uh, one of the biggest stages, uh, left to right. It has a small ledge to blast zone, so you can kill early off the side on base knockback moves like a Pichu back air. But it also has a higher ceiling, so it has smaller sides to let. So you can kill off the side easier, but you're not going to kill upwards as easy compared to Pokemon Stadium 2. That's one of the major benefits. Also, the side platforms and the way the platforms keep changing. Um, it gives a recovery mix-up, which can benefit certain types of characters. So those are some random notes. You can think of Town as like, it's half FD, and then it's just like FD with platforms there every now and then. During the time it turns into FD, that's when, if you get put in disadvantage, it's going to be really, really bad suddenly. And you will probably not even notice that, which happens often, and it sucks. All right, well, let's get into the counter pick stages. Kalos Pokemon League is another dual plat stage, but not quite as similar as Pokemon Stadium 2. Some even call it another FD, like <laughs> Town and City and Final Destination. So interesting to hear what you guys think about the differences between those three stages and who really wants the stage and who really does not. Right, so Kalos is a stage um, with the biggest leads to Blast Zone in the game, which means characters with an amazing recovery, Palatina, for example, will be very good here because you can, like, Grab them in the middle, nair, 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 and then finish it with another aerial using the last platform. But at the same time, you, you also get the huge buff of your amazing recovery. So characters with a really good recovery really benefit a lot off this stage. Also, the ceiling is either 190 or 192, so one of the higher ceilings. If you get spiked on this stage and like you're touching the wall, it's very easy to tech it. So like you'll see a lot of like light will pick the stage because like he'll know a character can spike him, and when he gets spiked, he just immediately techs it and then recovers again. And that's really important. Hug the wall. <laughs> yeah, and you, and you can also wall jump on this stage, and that helps a lot. Especially as a Mario player, I actually do that a lot. I go super super low, and then just wall jump to get back. Yeah, buffs edge guarding a little bit just because of the walls, and not to mention some characters can abuse the walls if they have a wall clang, and then have actual real mix-ups from the ledge. So there's also that. But besides that, stage is FD. Yeah, <laughs> the stage is also FD. It's FD except with the P PS2 platforms on the sides, yeah. which makes things kind of weird and kind of promotes. You can get platform extensions sometimes on the stage, but you won't see them that much. Yeah, they're like, usually people with the eye like extra far away, and that's like off the stage, the yeah. main stage. And you can't run off there and get a good extension usually. Not only can some characters wall jump, but characters like Pikachu and Pichu can throw their Thunder Jolt and then recover, and then they have two Thunder Jolts helping them back get back to center stage to remove their ledge trapping, which is why you just get rid of this against the Pikachu's characters. For the most controversial stage since Brawl? For three games, the most controversial legal stage, barely legal stage, Lilat Cruise. It has three platforms, but we don't call it a tri-plat. Why do people hate this stage? Uh, I don't know why people hate on so much. I think they're bandwagoning what everyone started early on. Did Smash 4 tilt? Smash, for Smash, Smash 4 Lilat was bad. This game's a lot This fun. game is literally just a normal three platforms and doesn't move. This There's Lilat. nothing wrong with it. I don't know why everyone hates on it, to be honest with you. Uh, it's another good stage if your character is good with platform extensions. It helps a lot with platform extensions. Yeah. It's just... Yeah, you also have more mix-ups and disadvantage, so... Yeah, like, if you're in disadvantage and you were to, like, air dodge into the ground, you would slide a little bit, so, because of the slants. Yep. And it's just the oh, only yeah. th thing about this stage is that it can uh, mess up recoveries a little bit. Like, it delays them. It doesn't, like, usually mess them up. It's just because the grab box for the ledge is, like, higher up, it makes things awkward for certain characters. Any drop down thing you do from the ledge will be different than what you normally do on other stages. So you have to take note of that. Uh, that's why Mars got shambled when he did his <gasps> flip jump. Because he didn't know that you can't just do that for free on that stage. Like usually you would have to possibly do like a double jump flip so you can go high enough to, so you don't have to flip off the wall or some, something dumb happening. But besides that one thing, there's also that this stage is very dark. So characters like Snake could put like a C for somewhere, you probably won't see it. Like it makes 
certain characters become camouflaged on the stage, which is, I guess, a little bothersome. Yoshi's Island Brawl. Why do people like the stage? Why do they dislike the stage? And what do the different slants and characteristics do to help certain characters while hinder others? People, so, dislike, people dislike the stage because the slant messes up a lot of stuff. <laughs> and it causes a lot of random... I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys have probably seen like a, more than enough Twitter clips of random stuff happening on the stage because of the slant. Like yesterday, I saw like a Ganon side be someone and like it hit the slant and he just immediately died. Yeah, it, he huh? could, he he created come a back. spike. <laughs> it yeah, created he, a he spike. couldn't come huh? back. That stage, it messes up a few characters, neutral tools or, and or combos like Peach for example. Peach never likes slanted stages ever, so... Wait, why? Because they can't just easily float cancel. The side blast zones are not big at all, so... Yeah, from ledge to blast zone, it's similar to like Town and Lilat, where yeah. it's smaller See, than most. If your character has like a kill throw, then they'll benefit a lot on this stage. Because the slants are like slightly up, it block, somewhat blocks some projectiles, because some projectiles go straight forward and low. Not every projectile can be obstructed by the stage itself, but... There's also that, so it's a little bothersome. We have Yoshi's story. Now this is different from Battlefield, but we still have a lot of people who double ban tripat stages. So let's talk about what makes Yoshi's story melee different from Battlefield. Most characters, most people probably want to like, if you're fighting Mario, probably ban this stage definitely if you're banning Battlefield because Mario gets to do everything he does in Battlefield except it's just better here. They, they die earlier. Yeah, they're like. And like, he has a wall jump to come his back. His usual combos would probably just kill you instead yeah. on that stage. And they usually won't kill you on the other ones. And ladders are way, like, they have a way bigger chance of killing you. Up air, down air has a way bigger chance of killing you. This <laughs> stage has wall jumping and that the platformers are much lower to the ground. So it's like, it's easier for people to poke at you when you're on a platform. Is it just me or are Yoshi Story's platforms bigger than Battlefields? They might be. The platformers are quite close to the ground and it makes it a little bit awkward as well because the slants on the sides like they're not as abusable as the other Yoshis but you can still use it I've seen people miss some grabs because of it because yeah. like a small slide besides that it makes two framing kind of free <laughs> just because that slant right there because a lot of attacks you can just angle there and just hit the person like it's not even a two frame a lot of the time it's just you're just hitting them all right guys thanks for watching don't, don't forget to like subscribe and hit the bell and let me know whatever types of content you guys want and uh don't forget this isn't only this isn't only applicable for evo this is for like any tournament you go to stage striking is very important and knowing your stages stages is very important you don't want to accidentally go to some stage where you're giving a character a way bigger advantage for no reason than you aren't aware of it yeah always make sure to double check tournament stage rules because uh <laughs> there could be like a stage you never thought would be on, like let's say Unova or Kalos or both on and then also Yoshis and like who knows? They could put on every single stage that yeah. they feel like. <laughs> Five bands, thirteen <laughs> stages. And then there's also that there they could mess with the bands. Like always double check the roles just in case. And if, uh, if you guys like this video, just let us know in the comments. I hope these guys help you a lot. If you want us to go, if you want us to go informative on any other thing, just let us know, and we'll consider it. And thank you.